Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with the Volume 5 soundtrack of Ruby. Heard you guys loud and clear that you wanted the Flint of Ruby videos, but I had already recorded Volume 1 through 4 by the time Volume 1 was aired. So here we are with Volume 5. I looked up all the songs from the wiki and here are the ones I could find on Flint of Ruby's channel. And I actually finished Volume 5 a while ago and I haven't watched a new episode in about six months. I got super far ahead and was thinking about releasing two chapters a week. Um, but it's good I didn't because I wound up really needing a break. Honestly, there are some really rude ass people commenting on the series and they just really, really put me off. Uh, I, even though I really like the show, it just parts of the fandom left a really bad taste in my mouth and I didn't want to watch for a while. And I used to block people who were just like bigoted or threatened violence, but I've started blocking people from commenting if they're just rude or annoying because I don't need that in my life, especially when the vast majority of you are very kind and supportive. Uh, I, di I didn't need these people ruining my enjoyment of this, so I started blocking them. So with that said, I'm now excited to get back into the series, starting with the Volume 5 soundtrack, and then we have the Adam short, and then on to Volume 6. Anyway, after this long, long break, you guys are almost caught up to where I am now, and yeah, I'm excited to continue with Volume 5, the soundtrack, starting with The Triumph. Let me full screen this. Oh yeah! Back to the fairy tale, back to the show, back to the wall, and there's nowhere to go. Messing with God. People were saying there's good fan art here too. I can see that. You guys know what I'm thinking about with that line. Oh god. Triumph is capitalized. Is that on purpose? Is there something called the Triumph that's important? Anyway. This part's not part of the intro that plays in Volume 5. Uh, it took all volume for them to come back together. I'm also a gun. <laughs> uh, I like the le uh, Yang's left eye. Glorified. I said beating. I was like, what? Heading. I like how <laughs> Weiss and Blake's like fingernails are shining. It's, I don't know, it's a nice touch. Also, Yang's like gauntlet, but the fingers is funny to me. Yeah, the team's starting to stand up again, starting to get on a roll again after all the trauma they faced in Volume 3. They're so young and so traumatized.
Mm. Mm. Nice. Nice little bit of video editing there. All right. That was fun. And now you get a sense of what I watch, I guess. Spelunky too. <laughs> Pat McAfee show is pretty fun. Uh, lots of football down here. Rational National is really, really good. Uh, NFL draft happened a couple months ago now. All right. Next. Yang. Hello there, my enemy. Welcome to my punching spree. This is where I lay waste and you'll go home Didn't have to be this way. Should have stayed out of the fray. Now you're heading for a beat. Hmm. I'm trying to recognize where the song is from. Maybe it was the character short. It's been so long, though. starting to gain back her confidence at this point. You know, I never, I never made this connection, but the fact that her eyes turn red, um, it's the same color of her sister. Like, her sister's often cloaked in red. I don't know if there's a deeper meaning there. Messing with my family. I mean, red also tends to symbolize anger, but that's a nice little... I don't know what the word is here. This is a really nice, uh, a really nice artwork too. Piece of artwork, fan, fan work, fan art. There we go. Both sides. We have to do that for the rhyme. Glowing hair. How many Super Saiyan jokes have we made on the show? The fact that her hair glows brighter, her eyes change colors. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about the rap in these soundtracks? Interesting is what I'll say. Mystic of life. Oh, wow, that was fast. All right, that was interesting. I believe it was, yeah, I do think it was, um, what's it called? Uh, from the character short, because I don't remember where that could have fit in volume five. Uh, so I'm guessing we probably have uh, some other songs from the character shorts as well. Is this the sound of... No, no not the one I was thinking of. There's a really good uh, Spider-Verse video out there. Uh, you guys get get a look at what I'm watching. Every... Oh, Honest Trailers, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Gotta check that out too. 
Never played Persona Q2 though. All right, the path to isolation. I'm guessing this is the uh, Weiss character short, maybe? It Let's go. With the unexpected loss of something dear. So at this point, she's running away. Actually, what happened in the character short? Because I remember what happens in volume five, but I don't, I'm blanking a little on the character short. This is such a sad song. I really like the instrumentals in the background, though. I'm a big fan of strings. I used to play the violin. That might have played into it. This is such a sad song. Ugh. Color scheme is white, but like this is clearly her emo phase. Ugh. <laughs> Understandable, given her upbringing and the way her father <sighs> treats her. That girl I see staring straight back at me. <laughs> it's kind of hard to sing a song when a different song is playing. Oh, it sounds really bad too. No oh, man, poor Weiss, poor Weiss. All right. Yeah, pretty much the same thing as. Oh, Octopath Traveler. I used that in a workout vid. Anyway. All right, next we have Smile. Um, I thought this was going to be about the Blake character short. I, oh, this is, this is Ilya. Okay. All right, let's check this out. We never saw Ilya's parents. <sighs> Seriously, the fan art is excellent. Child, our daughter, Aww. Sit while we talk a while. This is probably no a 
a song that every fauna sings or talks to their child about. I appreciate how this series tackles issues that run parallel to our world. Racial bigotry, sexism. Poor Ilya. Poor Fawn is having to grow up with the talk. The talk. did for so long. think the lyrics and the, uh, the topic might not fit with this tone of music, but it strangely does. Man. Her parents were shown a lot of bigotry and judgment. Unfair judgment. Uh, judgment. That was really good. That was really good. Oh, we've watched so much Ruby that it's just filling up the entire screen now. All right. Oh no, what is this? What is this? Oh no, oh no. Probably from <laughs> the end of volume, volume three. Anyway. All things must die. This looks like the fight between Raven and Cinder. All right. Pulsing the light with the music. You know what I'm just realizing now? How come I haven't seen any like Ruby things at Comic Con, like fan art or I don't know. Oh. Day by day it's wow. No, like. The art looks so much better once it's fully lighted. It the, the colors are stunning. Even though Raven is not my favorite character, I, I would 
get this print for sure. If I had it in my own place where I could hang it up. What is this part called? The Like on a tuxedo, it's a cummerbund, but I don't know what it's called in the details with the mountains and the birds. That's really cool. Dark, dark song. <laughs> okay. No, I want to look at the fan art. You know who's, what this fan art reminds me of? Um, shoot, what is her name? Velvet from Tales of Berseria. It's like shockingly similar. Wow. So far, of course, that's my favorite artwork. Uh, probably my least favorite song, though, out of the, I want to say, five that we've listened to so far. And uh, my favorite song so far have been Ignite and Smile, I think. So, yeah. All right. Two more. This time with Blake and Son. It's like sort of minimalist, but not really. Eh, I, I would say it's close enough. This time from Shadows Part 2.
I guess it's like halfway to minimalism. something else. I like their relationship. It's fun. It's cute. It feels like the writers are pushing them towards something romantic, but honestly... I like their friendship, fine. Just If it's just the friendship, that's fine by me as well. I also wouldn't mind Blake and Yang, though I don't know how popular that is opinion is. People have been saying that there are like certain ships uh, in this show, but I've like purposely avoided any spoilers for what the actual ships are. Just wanted to bring my own take to it. But um These two understand each other on a level that um, Blake can't be understood by other people in her on her team, though. So, regardless of who she winds up, if she winds up with anybody romantically, um, yeah, I think this friendship is very, very important. Steven Crowder is a freaking—he's the worst. Uh, it takes two. I've been wanting to play this so, so much. Uh, finally gonna have a friend over after it's been a couple weeks since we both got vaccinated so uh finally gonna have a friend over and we're gonna play the heck out of this this game look, looks amazing uh tom brady <laughs> i'm giving you guys a little bit of insight into what i do what is this oh it's also ruby i was like who who's this okay Toph. what is this trope talk powerhouses uh alex mukala he his music is fantastic he makes everything a little funky. He's worked on Endgame. He's worked on, what else? Avengers Endgame was what I meant. Um, but uh, he really enjoys Final Fantasy. So he, he remixes mixes a lot of uh, video game music. So uh, this is Invincible, right? Yeah, I haven't watched this yet. People keep saying it's amazing and how I should do it, but currently do not have the time to or energy to do much more because of my living situation. But yeah. Oh yeah, so this is, Steven Crowder is the change my mind guy, that meme which is why I never use that meme, because he is the absolute worst. The absolute worst. Anyway, let's continue. Last song. I was just talking about you two. Just talking about you two. All that matters. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be about their reunion, but it, I guess the fan art might focus on these two because they were the ones who felt the most tension. Yang was the most angry at Blake for running away. So yeah, let's check this out. All that matters. Were they all featuring Casey Glee Williams? At this point, is it called featuring if she's in every single song? <sighs> this is 
softer song. The volume a little bit. <laughs> It's very anime, this art style. Remember volume one when I was like, Link's ribbon is so cute. It, was her, it looks like ears. Leave them again, Blake. Or take them with you whenever you need to go somewhere. Thought that I could pull you from the shadows. Maybe help you find your wings and fly. Yang's background is like a black flame. But you're a path no longer that I travel. You're a path no longer that I travel. I'm just Blake's is a cat. Another chance to let you just destroy my pride. How can you? There's so much subtext here. Respond, Blake. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. You didn't light up her side of the fan art to not have her sing, did you? No! Oh, dang. I thought Blake was going to say something. <laughs> Your heart to pin down. <sighs> I never know if you come through. Then you appear. Together we're here. And that's all that matters somehow. a very sweet song but Blake oh no I, I'm wondering if this is going to be a continuing storyline um yeah yeah I saw that the normies started reacting to Ruby as well haven't watched their reactions you know what I should probably watch their reactions that'd be fun uh yeah they're uh, the normies are good uh some of them are I don't like some of them but some of them are okay um but 
Yeah. I could. I I feel like I'm not. I can't be the only one who ships. I don't know. I I don't know if I ship them necessarily romantically. I, I'm open to the idea that they, uh, Yang and Ru, Yang and Yang and Blake have some romantic undertones. First, with the the pushing and shoving when Blake refused to take a break and just rest up and enjoy herself along the way, and then you owing she's saying that she owes Yang a dance, which we never got to see, and then the way how how Yang felt when Blake disappeared. Um, I think she took that a little more hard than a, I don't know. She took it particularly hard. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll look at that <laughs> NFL funniest moments. I got, I'll, I'll watch that later on my own. Anyway, guys, this was, this might, I don't know if this is my favorite soundtrack so far, but, uh, it's up there and I do think, um, the two, the two works of fan art that I enjoyed the most are probably this one and Raven's. Uh, favorite songs are probably Ignite and Smile, like I said before, but though this one comes a little closer. And yeah, uh, enjoyed this. We're on to Volume 5 uh, short, or is it Volume 6 is short? Adam, the Adam short, does it count as Volume 5 or vo Volume 6? Anyway, uh, we're going to check that out, and then we're on to Volume 6. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. It really helps with the channel. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, friends.